Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Uh, welcome to another video of my React Native series. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to add a splash screen to your iOS project. So there are several ways in which you can go about doing this. One way is to use React Navigation. And to do that, you have to follow the steps uh, that are on this link here. I'll share this in the description as well. So this is one way of doing it. And then the other way is to use your launch screen storyboard in your iOS project. So if you go ahead and open Xcode uh, project workspace, then you will see that you have this uh, launch screen storyboard. So that's the other way of doing it by replacing this default uh, content here with your uh, images. And this is what I'll be doing in this video. So the first thing you'll want to do is uh, go ahead and open your Xcode project and you should open the uh, workspace file and in here just come to the launch screen dot storyboard uh, first let's go ahead and delete all of this so delete all of that and then in images dot x uh, c assets here we'll need to create a new image set so this image set here is for our app icon if you want to add an app icon uh, you can just go ahead and paste them all in here but what we want to do is create a new image set. Uh, let's call it splash image. Okay. And for the splash image, you can generate your images online uh, using tools like, let's see. So to generate your image, you can use uh, tools like this uh, app icon generator here to generate your iOS and uh, Android image assets. Okay, so go ahead and do that. Once you've got that, uh, you can paste in your images or just drag and drop your images there. Okay. And then once you've got that done, let's go back to our launch screen uh, storyboard. And then here, we'll go ahead and add an image control, uh, image view. Uh, just drag it onto uh, the screen there. And then under image here, we're gonna select a drop down and choose the image that we just created in our assets, which would be splash screen. And then for content mode, uh, go ahead and select uh, aspect fit. Now, as you can see, uh, if we change our device here, the item is not really centered, it's all over the place. So to fix that, come to this uh, icon here. And then once you've clicked that, just uh, deselect all the uh, lines that are outside of the square box and select the ones inside then this should center and then just center your image and then now if we change the device it will always remain centered so let's say we have one 12 mini then the, uh, the image remains centered and if I rotate it same scenario okay and just increase the image okay there we go then next thing, we can go ahead and build our application and run it. So the build was successful. Now let me go ahead and run the application. Now you should see when the emulator launches and the app runs, it should display this splash screen instead of the default uh, React Native splash screen. As you can see, we have the splash screen that appears now here. So one problem we have currently is that the splash screen only uh, displays for a short period of time. So in my emulator here, so as you can see, it only shows for a certain brief moment. And to fix that, we'll need uh, this package here called React Native Splash Screen. So what we'll do is after installing this, we'll hide the splash screen in our, uh, what is this, in our app.js file. So that means our app is loaded, and then once it loads this app.js file, that's when we uh, hide our splash screen. So let me go ahead and do that. So first things first, let me install this. OK, 
and then link your files if you have to. Okay, and then after that, uh, you can scroll down to step three. Uh, we'll come back to this section here, but scroll down to step three of the iOS section. So back to our Xcode, uh, head over to your awesome project, and then under the awesome project folder, click on appdelegate.m. So there are a few details that we need to add here. First one, uh, let me just go back to my browser. We need to import this uh, splash screen here. So in here, we'll just add this line here right after uh, the first import. And then right next, right before this import or this return, yes, rather, we'll also add this part here. and just paste that and click save so as you can see we are getting this error here that says uh, this file is not found so just go back to the top on this line here so it says in Xcode uh, where is it where is this yes yeah so here so it says to fix this you have to go to your project so go click on your project and then in build settings search for what is this? Search paths. So here, and then header search path. And then for that, we'll need to add this line here. Okay, so we'll just click add. And then add again for release and debug. And then once you've got that done, just uh, clean your project. And then run pod install. So first navigate into your iOS directory and then run pod install. Okay. Okay, and then after doing that, we can go ahead and Build our project again. Then while that's building, let's just head back to the documentation here and scroll all the way down to where we import a splash screen in our app.js file. And then in our app, uh, we will close the splash screen. And to do that, we'll just call splash screen dot hide. Okay, and let's just wait for the build to finish. Okay, so the build is successful. Uh, let me go ahead and run the application in my emulator. And there you go. Uh, that's all, folks. Thanks for watching.